Okay, so today I guess I'm gonna try to do uh, sort of like a survival island. I can't leave this island. I found a seed. It's a pretty nice seed. Generally decent size island, so I have a little bit of breathing room. But besides that, I can go on the ground, but I cannot leave the island, so I cannot touch any other land besides that island. I will allow me to go in the ocean though, so that's allowed. So I guess we're gonna get into this. I uh, got the seed open right here. And okay then let's see if where is my chest? That's our first priority. If I not take damage. Yeah, that's over here. Alright. Let's see what we got. Avil. Guess we'll take that pickaxe and just get to it. Oh, what else we got? Okay, um What have we even got in this area? We got a village down here, I know that. Uh, it's kind of like separated two right there. We got a little bit of uh, winter area. I think there's a little bit of ice peaks over here. There's no slopes, that's what it is. Okay, so, oh, hold on. There's lava over there. I think there might be a lava spill from what I remember here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. So, place down a crafting table. Okay, so now we need iron. I think might be the best way to get it is underwater. I don't see any magma blocks though, so I don't think that we're gonna get any like magma blocks to use so we can mine underwater. But we'll see. Might actually, you know what? Might what might be a good idea is seeing if we can. Whoops! Seeing if we can get on the top of these slopes, because they might provide us. Like iron is pretty abundant on uh, mountains, especially mountains that are just all stone. So it might be the best route to just try to go up here and find iron. That's more coal over here. I don't think I see any iron down there. Could use a torch though. Ah, oh, shoot. I gotta even throw that. I think that torch just went into the void. Okay then. Guess we make another one. Let's just make all those. Oh, and as I say that, I find the torches. Might be a s safe bet. It's just looking through here real quickly. Don't get too deep though, because you get lost in caves pretty easily. Surprisingly, there's not a lot of iron down here. There's an abundance of zombies, though. I'll still try to steal this. One piece of iron. How exciting. There's a lot of zombies down here. Hold on. Big burn strat right here. Oh, here we go. Now we got the jackpot. Okay, um... I think... 
probably about the best thing to do is come back here uh, I'm just gonna name this ravine we'll do that so we'll come back here later because I'm not in the mood to die because oops, I'm not in the mood to die because I decided it would be a fantastic idea to go in there without being any whatsoever prepared. Where did we... Oh shoot, it's getting dark. I should probably go for that village. Sorry, I'm taking that bed. Make do with this. Is there a lot? No. But, you know, it's better than having nothing. Oh, there's there's more bales over here. Okay. That's a good sign. We got a crafting table somewhere around here. I can just steal. One of you guys must have one. Nope. This village is useless. The only thing they have here is food. We'll plant beer right here. And we'll just get a whole ton of wheat. Alright, you know what? No. There we go. That looks good. We have 42 baked potato we can bake. I mean, the potato we can bake. We just whip out a furnace right here. We'll cook that iron first. Then we're gonna swap out and we're gonna put the potatoes in, bake those, bake the uh, pork chops too while we're at it. So we have plenty of food. And yeah, we, we should be all set there. Swap over to. Our other inventory here. We got more stone picks. We got a decent amount of wood, I would say. We need a lot of blocks. That's what we need. I, we might get that with wood, I presume. The forest is over here, so I'll go. And I'll, I guess I'll use this axe take down some trees and make some wood out of that what are you doing all the way out here living your life since you have no job huh lucky lucky you you know you know what I should have been doing I should be re uh, replay recording this because you know it just provides a lot more angles when editing so yeah, probably should have been doing that. Okay, so we got plenty of wood now. Yeah, that's definitely plenty of platforming blocks. Oh, I'll just put you right there. Yeah, and yeah, we'll, we'll have we'll have cop uh not copper. We we'll have uh webstone on the way. Oh shoot. So you're gonna attack me? Uh guess not. I think this is the same cave we went into. Oh, definitely not the same cave we went into. Yeah, here we go.
Oh shoot. Run, 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 run. What in the world is going on? Okay, no. Yes, strike each other, please. That's exactly what I need right now. Oh. That, that could have ended really badly. I was extremely lucky there. Oh. Top 10 clutch moments right there. Dead and gone. Okay, there's plenty of iron here. So, I guess it's a good thing that we fell in here. Oh, no, never mind. That uh, was just copper. Playing tricks on me. Oh, we found the ravine again, at least. So, that's comforting. So much copper here, though. Can we. Can, can that copper just be iron for once? I want iron. If I have iron, I can be. A happy fox. I guess my prayers were partially answered because I got six iron now. What's in that cave over there? That's a million dollar question. What's in the cave? Just leads back to itself. Okay. Good cave. I rate it 10 out of 10. Would come back there again. Do, 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 do. Okay. I think I think I need to go down more because I know iron's more abundant at. I forgot exactly. I think it was like around 14. I think Facebook trying to tell me I have new friend whatever's Ooh, decent amount of iron What on earth? Shoot, come on. Stop it. Uh, either that just happens naturally, or I'm actually. Oh, no. I think I might actually be near some sort of stronghold. We're starting to find gold, and I can see deep slate, so I think we might find a pretty good cave system here. You know, while we're at it. I'm going to craft just two furnaces, put that in, we'll leave that smelting, we'll know later if we have any, if we'll have enough for armor, if we have more that's great, next thing to focus on is what am I going to have for a base, and on, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. Actually, you know what? I got an idea. How about we do like like an underwater base? I think that would be interesting. All right, let's see here. Let's get our boots. Get our leggings. Yep. And get those on. 
you have one iron left over from all that. If you can't see, I did like change the armor so it's more of like uh, a chainmail kind of looking thing. And the helmet's an amulet now, so now I, I, I can naturally wear helmets. Instead of just not being able to wear helmets because it would just cover my entire skin. And armor and for that fact. And that's a creeper. Might as well start actually trying to kill the creepers because fireworks will be really useful later on. Ooh, it's a massive cave right there. Why don't you just hit like we had heaven or hell because we're either gonna get lost down here or I'm just going to find everything I need and get out of here safely. <laughs> Hey, you want to go, huh? Let's do this. Let's do this. Or fall down. That works too. It like sees me, but also doesn't want to see me too. Bruh. Oh shoot. Isn't that like the second time creepers or explosions like took me down somewhere? Ha! <laughs> I got him with my his own arrow. That should be an achievement. Having a skeleton die with it from his own arrow. That could have ended badly. I don't even know how to spell geode. I'm just gonna put geo. Interestingly, if you look right there, it shows that the geo is up there, right? That means we are deeper than the deep dark. Oh, okay, I'm just being stupid. It, it just made the uh, marker up there for some reason. Not, oh, oh wait, hold on, I got an idea. If we go back over here. Okay, I'm not liking that situation. Okay, so I should be able to just do geo. There we go. Now, now it's over there. I think, I think I'm probably about gonna wrap it up. Well, not wrap it up like the video wise, but like just wrap it up in this cave system because I don't want to get way too and another creeper. I'm I'm gonna wrap it up in the cave system so I just don't get too deep and get myself lost around here. Okay, definitely not been there. Oh wait, yeah, I remember now. There's some place I gotta go through here that leads to a different cave system. I think I'm mined out somewhere? Yeah, right here, okay. Okay, um... Yeah, oh yeah, now we're back here. Okay. So yeah, should be an easy way, easy way to get out. 
have to go up here. Okay. A creeper, of course, is out here to greet me. Why not? Alright, so we are on day five. So I got to go do stuff real quick. So. I guess that pans out I'll come back I'll do another five days and I think that'll probably be it for this video I've already been recording for an hour and ten minutes so yeah it definitely should take a break do some stuff come back so I'll see you then round two I suppose um so yeah when Wrapped a quick bite, did a couple of chores to need to do for the day, but my goodness, is it terrible outside right now. We having a lot of storms in our area, so like just everywhere is flooded. It is not a fun time. But good thing is I live on a hill, so I don't have to worry about any sort of flooding or anything like that, but it still is pretty bad. Probably the highest I've ever seen the rivers be in this area. Okay, so the big question is where are we gonna build? We got this entire island. So I would say. Ooh! And there's an ocean monument out here. Maybe. Maybe. That will be where I live. This is considering I wanted to do um a ocean base. That would be a good place to set up right there. I also um I will consider this part of the island as well. Oh, and we have a shipwreck right here. So yeah, I am considering this part of the island because if you actually go through here, this is all river. So I actually consider this. This is just part of the island. This is just a river that's inside of it so all that is part of the island or you know actually if the ocean monuments out here this might be the best place to set up and especially since I'm seeing a little bit of lava around here a lot of lava by the way if ow if any of you guys are gonna t try to tell me that using a map and a mini map is uh legal in Minecraft like for a Minecraft play because it's a mod that adds features in I'll say this one I'll say this how's this if you ever looked at a lot of youtubers you'll notice that they generally play with like the game settings set out as max so that way that everyone can actually see and they can see and they don't have to worry about torches would you consider that cheating would you consider that like dream has been cheating his entire time since he uses his gamma settings all the way high up I mean if you if you're gonna criticize me about that it's my it's my let's play it's my game I can play however I want and to me like I can see I can see yeah turning off the mini mini map radar all that all the extra features that it gives you I can turn that off but I mean the mini map is mostly just kind of like visual coordinates sort of same with the map it's just visual coordinates it's I guess maybe yeah me seeing an ocean monument off in the corner that's sort of cheating yeah but I mean it's my game I really don't consider it that I'm cheating at all in order to I should probably eat that I don't really consider that I'm cheating at all because I'm using a map and a mini map mod and since it's my game I can do that because I don't care so if you want to criticize that to me in the comments just know I already don't care so it's not really worth going to the comments and telling me that I'm not playing Minecraft correctly. Or even then, I'm, I'm, uh, 
I think I'm playing on normal. Yeah, I'm playing on normal. So pretty sure probably someone else in the comments is gonna be like, oh, you're not playing on hardcore, so you're not playing Minecraft. Like, you know, you're too scared to go in hardcore. I don't wanna go in hardcore, because I just wanna play something casual for once. I mean, not play something casual for once. I just wanna play casually instead of like, trying to basically be scared to ever like, do anything because I'm constantly getting attacked by mobs and you know I just fear dying and then there you go all my progress is lost I mean once again my let's play I can determine how I want to play it and that's how it goes if you really just don't like it then just dislike the video and don't watch the video simple as that and hey look at that my prediction of lava is correct we have some lava here although it's only one lava which is kind of disappointing but I mean you can't really complain with what you get so you know what there's a there's a group of sheep right there I'll just won't take the full journey I'll just take these guys out instead <laughs> I guess this can be my, yep, there we go. I guess I safely broke my sword. I was gonna say we can like start growing like berries because berries are a really, really, really fast food resource. They don't replenish too much health. I mean, they don't replenish too much of your uh, food bar, but they are good food source if you're just building your base because you don't have to deal with any um, you don't have to deal with constantly using your good food while you're running around building everything so it just it definitely you know helps out a lot so my recommendation is if you can try farming berries they they like they they grow really fast like you'll get a stack in no time if you start just harvesting them so they're just a really good simple and quick food resource even though they don't give you a lot of food back they still are very plentiful to harvest like they grow wicked like once you grow the entire bush it doesn't take long for it to just keep producing berries so if you're constantly harvesting them like you'll get a whole bunch of them so, and another thing I, I started harvesting in a different world is I did start doing potatoes. Potatoes are pretty decent. Like, carrots and potatoes, they do get, they're a lot more of a better value than, than bread. Because bread, when you're doing wheat, it's just, you don't get a, just as good as much of a ratio. I mean, you might get a couple of pieces of wheat, but even then, when you harvest potatoes, you might get, you get around two to four potatoes. I think me, maybe even five in some cases. So you get, you get a lot more back from carrots and potatoes when you're trying to harvest things than if you were just going to go with the wheat route. So if I am going to actually start harvesting stuff, I would probably harvest potatoes, which now that I think about it, cooking those potatoes, actually, wait, hold on. The heck was that? Uh... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not going to question that, I have no clue what that sound was, yeah, I'm, okay, now that I think about it, I think, yep, I have one potato in here, so I, th I think I got that from a zombie I killed, so, if we can't find any more potatoes, there's potatoes there, so we don't have to worry about losing any. But yeah, let's go to bed.
think that I think we have to use all our wood for that one. Whoa. See, this is why I need fences so I don't kill myself trying to get around here. Biggest annoyance about I because I did I've done I was doing a primary I'd actually wanted to stay in a ravine side house and that was a different world I knew. I might show on screen um what I was I did there but I essentially um I was essentially on a cliff and the most annoying thing that will happen is you'll have a mob spawn up here walk down fall onto there and then suddenly you just have mobs even though you've lit up this entire place so what I had to do was just completely just build a wall all the way up here uh, and so and then put a fence across here so none of them could get in at all so if you're doing a cliffside house definitely you need to do that because you're gonna have mobs falling in and then you'll have everything built creeper falls in oh man blows up everything you know i am gonna light up this place though because it's probably best to do that so i prevent what i just said would happen to happen to me so yeah i think the best course step back action now is just start chopping some trees down remember kids always replant your trees I hope you in the long run. I'll build a small farm over here as a right in this area, small farm. And we'll do it with all the wood we just gathered. Yep, we got four bones, so we can use that to help speed up our harvest. And we can just get more potatoes since we only have one. And we can really speed up our, our farm here. Early enough wood to finish. Okay, so it's pretty decent for today. We all gotta start somewhere. And I guess it's time to just build a bucket and um get some water. Or you know what? I'll build two buckets, because we're probably gonna need it in the future and we're gonna need. We can just create an infinite water source up here so we don't have to just deal with going back up. Not what I wanted. Uh, well, we can't really do anything. Oh, what? Too cold here? Are you joking me? We got the light. Maybe if. Wait, I got an idea. Then just. That should still work. And then I can put a torch on it too. And then. That, that will help with the lighting. Uh oh. Someone's calling on me. Potential spam. Don't care. And it goes half of my health because of course a creeper blows up in my face. The one time I'm not paying attention at all, of course a creeper comes and tries to mess up everything. So I should be able to just start. love the efficiency of that and I guess we go to the village we'll get we'll try to get some more potatoes we'll steal the uh, villagers potatoes oh jeez that is deep that was like literally uh that's literally like bro I didn't step on any before. How come I'm that entire area is just all of it now? That was literally just like quicksand style. You're gonna die. You know? 
Same over here. Where are you guys' crops? No more crops. No, no more crops. Okay. Alright. Um, well, something that might be the best course of action, I would say, is probably just stay out here and grind bones, I think would be a good idea. Because it's just you and me, buddy. This night is all to us. Got some creepers over here. You can pick off. Got a skeleton over here, though, so. Yeah, attack him. Oh, you're joking me. It is almost daytime again, though. So, uh, I'm not really sure if there's going to be enough bones at all. That dirt, like, getting worn out? Am I imagining that? Or is, is that, like, actually a thing in Minecraft? You can wear out dirt. I'm not sure if I'm exactly going to beat the game by those 100 days I it, it's just we'll just have to wait and see depends on how far I can focus myself to get to I mean I might just have to focus on my base building that's not essential like <clears throat> excuse me base building that's not essential like decorating or s stuff like that until I because I mean it's probably gonna be a very difficult time trying to find nine portal around here I might just have to look on like chunk base or something see if there's like some sort of uh, like um, stronghold in the water because or underground in an area because that might be best Oh boy, people don't leave me alone. Another potential spam, I don't care. Okay, that's that. So, we just got that basic farm set up. Oh shoot, let's lay it out. Alright, so, something interesting just happened. So, I was checking my voicemail, and I just got a voicemail that just had static. And like, you ever heard like the feedback, like that you can pick up from electronics? Kind of sound like it kind of sounded like an AM frequency. It was kind of weird. I mean, I hold on. I can, I can play it. Give me a second. Oh wait, hold on. Let me turn on speaker. Also, I got this. DRG, it's Friday, and I'm calling you about the 17,000 settlement of all the unsecured bills. I really need to hear back from you today, so please call me back at 214-446-3743. Thanks. Sure. Uh, apparently he has the wrong person because I am literally 18. I don't know where I would have $17,000 
and unpaid bills. Let's go check out over there. That was a close one. I could have just lost that lava there if it wasn't careful. Future, you know. And that's that. Two pieces down. Eight more to go, I think. Yeah, eight more to go. Yeah, and I guess that'll wrap it up for now. So, that was day one through ten. And I think we we made it pretty far. I think we did pretty good. We got we got a little farm going up here. We got a little place to settle down for now. There's a zombie. Um, we got a decent amount of iron. We you know we got this going. We got a location of where we're gonna settle. We're gonna try to go for a little monument over here. It'll be a nice place to settle down. And yeah, so I guess that's going to just wrap it up for now. So I guess thanks for watching, if you're watching. I'm really wondering if anyone's going to actually watch this video because, like, I just saw, oh, Minecraft Survival Island. I built a lighthouse on a Minecraft Island seed. Maybe I can get some, like, views with, like, a 100-day video. Though I think... This one's going to be a lot more in-depth because a lot of them just like to have, like, bite-sized information of each day. But I'm going to split it up into just 10 episodes of 10 days each. And I think, I think, because, like, I want to do a more longer narrative. I want to enjoy, have some fun, have, you know, do some meme joking, I guess, and all that. Have some commentary in the video because it makes the... It makes the video a lot better, like in my opinion, if you have more longer, longer term content because it gives more content for the user. It gives a lot more enjoyability for the user. People might drop out halfway through it. I don't know, but that's their, that's their own problem that they want to drop out. So thanks for watching. See you guys soon. So bye.